Welcome back everybody uh, with Waves and Sound. Today we are going into a more detailed look into period and frequency, which you know we've talked about already and kind of seems similar, but we're gonna talk about the differences and the similarities of these two. All right, so here's the main formula here for period. Period is equal to the time divided by the number of cycles something takes. So as we learned before, period is how long it takes to make one cycle. But sometimes we have more information. So for example, a jackhammer vibrated up and down 300 times in three seconds. 300 is the number of cycles, okay? Three, uh, three is the time, three seconds. And then we can find out what the period is, 0.01. This is how long it took the jackhammer to vibrate, or make a complete up and down vibration uh, one time. So it took 0 0.01 seconds for, uh, that's the period of the jackhammer. That's how fast it goes up and down, uh, how long it takes to go up and down. Okay, so this is the main formula, and this is how we can manipulate it. Okay, moving on. Frequency is similar, but pretty much the opposite, or what we say the inverse. So frequency, remember, is how many times something happens in one second. So frequency is equal to the number of cycles divided by how long that took. So same example, a jackhammer vibrated up and down 300 times in three seconds. 300 is the number of cycles. Three is the time, so three seconds, and 100 hertz is the frequency. What this 100 hertz means is in one second, it vibrated up and down 100 times. Okay, so this kind of new frequency is measured in hertz. And here's the formula, and here's how you can manipulate it. Okay. All right, so let's look at some examples here. Two clocks tick at different frequencies. Clock A takes five times per second and clock B takes two times per second. Which clock has a long period when it comes to their ticks? Okay, so clock A ticks or vibrates five times per second. And try to figure this out on your own first and if you still can't figure it out, then um, then watch me do it, but it's always best to try to figure it out on your own, even if you're wrong. Okay, so this means this is ticking a lot faster, right? If it's ticking five times in one second, that's pretty fast. While it's ticking two times per second, that's not that fast. That's It ticks half a second every time, but this one is around 0 0.2 seconds for every click. So which clock has a longer period when it comes to a cl uh, when it comes to a click? It's gonna be B because it takes longer for it to vibrate or tick or or make that cycle of the tick. Okay. So clock B is longer because it takes half a second, while clock A takes 0.2 seconds each click or tick. Okay. Jackhammer A vibrates 200 times in two seconds. Jackhammer B vibrates 300 times in two seconds. Which jackhammer, uh, which, uh, which jammer, <laughs> which jammer vibrates with a higher frequency? So A here vibrates 200 times in one second, which means it has a frequency of 100 hertz. Jackhammer B 300 times in one second, so that's going to be 150 hertz. This means that jackhammer A vibrates 100 times in one second, and jackhammer B uh, vibrates 150 times in one hand. So which one is bigger? Uh, that's going to be jackhammer B. Okay. All right. Let's look at this example now. Uh, conceptual example number five. A violin string vibrates faster than a guitar string. How does this relate to the period of their vibrations? Okay. So if something is like, let's say this is one second. Okay. From zero seconds to one second and something is vibrating very quickly like this. And then this over here, let's call this, let's say this is the violin. Violin. And then this is the guitar, which is going slower. 
guitar. So we can say that, you know, remember, a uh, period is how long it makes takes to make a full cycle. So this is taking like one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven seconds. Uh, no, sorry, that that takes eleven. That does eleven cycles in one second. The guitar is doing, you know, like from here to uh, there. If we're going all the way down, like one, two, three. I don't know, like maybe four, four cycles. So anyway, the guitar is a lot more slow, as we can see. That means it takes longer to make a cycle. So the violin string has a shorter period because it's able, it makes these cycles a lot more quickly. Okay. Has a shorter period, but it has a long, uh, it has a higher frequency. All right, moving on. A tire and a car is rotating 30 times in five seconds. If the car speeds up, what happens to the frequency of the tire's rotation? Okay, so this tire here is going, you know, somewhat fast, and it rotates 30 times in 5 seconds. But if it speeds up, that means it's going to be rotating way more. Maybe it rotates 60 times in 5 seconds. So that means since it's rotating more in a given time, that means the frequency increases, okay? More rotations are happening in that 1 second. Moving on, a scientist mentions that a system oscillates with a frequency of two hertz. Which of the following statements is true? A, the system completes two cycles every second. B, the system takes two seconds to complete one cycle. C, the complete uh, the system uh, completes one cycle every 0 0.5 seconds, both A and C. Okay, so remember, what frequency means is how many times something cycles or oscillates or vibrates in one second. So right now, this object is cycling two times in one second. So this is correct, but this could also be correct if we're looking at D. The system completes one cycle every point, half a second. And that's also going to be correct because in one second, it's going to have two cycles if every half a second completes one cycle. So it's going to be both A and C. All right, moving on. Which has a greater period, the rotation of the Earth on its axis or how long it takes the Earth to go around the sun? So remember, period is how long it takes to make, do a cycle, to do an oscillation, revolution, everything like that. We know the Earth to spin around itself, to revolve, is one day. But the Earth to go all the way around the sun is one year or 365 days. So which has a greater period? or the Earth orbiting around the Sun. Okay, moving on. All right, so start to look at things, how period and frequency work together, and doing a little bit more math problems here. So at this point, you have probably noticed that period and frequency are similar to each other, but distinctly different. Frequencies and period are the inverse of one another. So period is equal to one over frequency. And if we think of period, let's say something, let's say um, it takes five seconds to um, complete one circle. So that means for frequency in one second, uh, what's going to be happening is it's only gone one-fifth of the way to go one-fifth the circle. Okay, so we can kind of see like this inverse relationship with each other. All right, we're going to do some problems. Hopefully, it'll make more and more sense as we do more and more problems. Okay, so a pendulum completes 12 cycles in 4 seconds. A, what is the frequency of the uh, pendulum? And what is the period of the pendulum? So one cycle is going from here and back. That's one full cycle. So it can do 12 of these going there and back in four seconds. So I'm going to kind of solve both of these at the same time. So frequency, as we learned before from the formula, is equal to the number of cycles divided by time. While the period is the inverse of that, which is the time it takes 
divided by the number of cycles. Okay, so let's look at this frequency. The number of cycles is 12. The time it takes is 4. The period is the time it takes is 4 seconds and the number of cycles is 12. So frequency is going to give us 3 hertz. And what this tells us is this pendulum is going to go back and forth three times in one second, while the period is one third or 0 0.33 seconds. And what that means is one full cycle from here to there is going to take 0.33 seconds. Okay, so that should make sense because in one second, it'll go back and forth three times. Okay. All right, I hope that made sense. We'll do a few more. A wave has a frequency of 5 hertz. What is the period? So remember, period is just the inverse of frequency. So we could just plug this in. Uh, 1 divided by 5, which is going to be equal to 0 0.2 seconds. It takes 0 0.2 seconds to go back and forth. Okay, moving on. A mass on a spring has a period of 0 0.8 seconds. What is the frequency? So remember, frequency is just the inverse of period. So we can do 1 divided by 0 0.8. Let me put that in the calculator. And we get 1.25 hertz. Okay, and what is this telling us? That means that this thing is going, uh, I don't know, it's oscillating, meaning it's going up and down and a little bit down in one second. So one second goes, does makes a full cycle and a quarter of that cycle as well. Okay, moving on. A fan completes 240 rotations at a frequency of two hertz. How long does it take to make this many rotations? Okay, so A, so we know that frequency is equal to the number of cycles divided by time. But this time we're looking for how long does it take, so the time. So I'm going to manipulate this. Time is equal to number of cycles divided by frequency. Number of cycles is 240. It rotates 240 times. And the frequency is 2. So this is going to be equal to 120 seconds. So it takes 120 seconds to rotate 240 uh, times this fan. So what is the period? A few ways we could do this, but remember, period is how long does it take to make one full cycle. I'm going to use the formula period is equal to 1 over frequency to help us. And then 1 over frequency, the frequency is 2, so it's equal to half a second. So this is telling us in half a second, uh, this fan goes all the way around one time. Okay, moving on. Oh, that's actually it. Next time, we're going to be talking about types of mechanical waves, sound waves, visible light, things like that. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.